My wife's car has been a bit problematic recently. It's been uh, uh, quite difficult to start, Sl sluggish on the starter motor, and uh, on a couple of occasions I've had to get the uh, jump leads out and, uh, and start it that way. Um, I suspect that the battery um, is knackered because it looks like the original one. Uh, the battery light um, comes on as, as you would expect uh, and then goes out again, uh, which indicates that uh, uh, the old safety is charging it. Um, if you drive around for an hour or so, uh, it takes some charge, but then overnight it um, it seems to die off. So all of these things kind of point to it being the battery, but it's worth um, doing a couple of checks to make sure it's not another uh, component before um, running out and buying uh, an expensive new battery. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick check on the alternator, uh, make sure it's not that, uh, and then I'm going to test the battery uh, to establish that it's that. I'm just using a simple multimeter. Um, I'm only using it on volts, uh, volts DC, uh, as you can see. And uh, mine's got a range button at the top. Um, sometimes you need to press that once you get to the load. Different multimeters work in different ways. You could just use a voltmeter. So I've got that connected to the uh, positive and negative terminals on the battery. I've also uh, given the battery terminals uh, a good old clean, uh, taken any oxidisation off and uh, wiped them over. Put a little bit of Vaseline on and tighten them down to make sure that we're getting uh, proper um, conductivity and proper readings. And I'm going to carry out some straightforward tests. I want to test the alternator. Um, as you can see at the moment, it's pumping out 14.35, 14.4 14 volts thereabouts, which is absolutely spot on. Uh, that's with no real load on the car. Um, so I'm going to switch on the headlights, I'm going to switch on the air con, heated rear windscreen, that kind of thing, uh, and see what effect that has. Um, on the voltage output, uh, hopefully nothing. Yeah, and that's good news, that's uh, about 0 0.1, 0 0.15 of a volt difference. That's with the headlights uh, and the high beam headlights, air conditioning, heated rear windscreen, uh, all running at full. Um, so I think we can safely say that the alternator is good. I had to jump start the car before I brought it over to the shed uh, and since then I've driven um, the five miles here and then I left it running outside here for about an hour and as you can see there's uh, nearly 12 and a half volts in the battery and obviously that's not the full story um, I strongly suspect that um, when I turn the key uh, the voltage is going to drop massively um, probably down to about five or six volts uh, and that would indicate that the uh, that the battery is at fault uh, so I'm gonna go and crank the engine and let's see what happens well, I think that's fairly conclusive then the alternator is fine um, the battery um, is uh, dipping down in voltage um, quite spectacularly on um, uh, on cranking it was down to uh, about 8 or 9 volts um, which I think demonstrates that it's, um, it's on the way out so I think it's a fairly safe bet that um, a new battery is going, to, um, is going to cure this so I'm going to go and buy one. Ok I'm back with a new battery uh, I'm just going to take the old one out. Uh, it's worth mentioning at this point um, that when you take the battery out uh, you should always disconnect the negative terminal first um, and push the cable well out of the way uh, uh, the reason for doing that is that if you were to disconnect the um, positive first uh, and the back of your spanner caught onto the bodywork or the engine or somewhere uh, then you could earth uh, through the body back to the battery and you could have a big flash or uh, uh, an explosion or, um, or a burn. Um, so always take the negative lead off first. Obviously it goes without saying that when you put the battery back on, put the positive lead back on and then put the negative lead back on. Um, secondly, so that uh, you um, minimise the risk of uh, any kind of short circuit. That's the new battery fitted to the car and uh, as you might be able to see it's showing 13 volts. Uh, it was supplied fully charged um, so that um, is to be expected. Um, I'm going to start the engine now and uh, what should happen is that there'll be a very slight decrease in voltage for a second or so and then it should rise to 
approximately 14.4, 14.5 volts uh, where it should stabilise. Uh, and if that's the case, then we're good to go. I'm pretty confident that I've uh, solved the starting problems uh, with my wife's car. Uh, if you found the video interesting uh, and uh, uh, you'd like to make any comments then uh, then please do uh, if you've enjoyed it please uh, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel thanks for watching